Hi, my name is Caleb and I'm going to be walking you guys through how to patient package an individual into a Stokes basket. This is one that comes with uh, the vac mats that we have. I'm going to go under the patient's waist here. And you want to move it down if you need to. You want this to be directly over the hip bones. Then you're going to put this through the ratchet here. And you're going to pull until you hear it click. This will probably hurt your patient, um, but it needs to be nice and tight. So right through there, and then once it's set, then you can just velcro this down here. All right, so our second step is to provide a point of attachment directly to the patient. There is a variety of ways to do this. Um, today we're going to be using a patient waist harness. You can also do this with a patient chest harness if you determine um, that that patient needs that instead based off of their medical condition. So with this, it comes with this nice little bag here. It comes out and everything is color coordinated. So you just set it right here like this. This strap will go around behind the patient. And then these ones will go around the legs and clip in there. And same thing on the other side. Clip in there. And then you can tighten this as needed like so, and then just make sure everything's tucked in here and out of the way. And I have a secure attachment point for your patient to hook them into your system. So the next step we're gonna do is going to actually get the patient settled into the vac mat. Depending on the environmental conditions, if you feel it's necessary, you can package your patient into a life blanket before you do this process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the patient bend their legs a little bit here. If they can hold it like that, or you might have to have somebody else hold it or place something on their legs to accomplish this. And then we're just gonna start clipping these buckles together. All of these buckles are also color coordinated. So it makes it super easy to see what goes where. Another consideration we have is we don't want any straps going over the patient's joints or any knees in particular. So here you can look at that. If these are going over the patient's knees, you can cross them instead. In this case, we're okay like this. So we have an additional pelvic binder here. This isn't necessary if you have the other one on, but I'll still clip it in just to get it out of the way. And we'll try and keep this waist harness attachment point here clear. So then what I'm gonna go through is I'm just gonna go through and tighten all of these straps, get them to where I like them. Also wanna be careful about not covering the patient's neck here. So if you're worried that this is over the neck, you can take a carabiner and clip this down out of the way. All right, once you're done with that, our next step is to pull the air out of the vac mat and solidify it as a backboard for our patient. Um, in this point, I would probably have an assistant um, help hold the legs up and hold this around the patient's head if necessary. And then you're gonna take the pump and you're just gonna pull the air out of the vac mat. This works best if you do it with nice, slow, even pulls. And just like that, you've got a nice backboard for your patient. At this point, once the patient has been moved over into the Stokes basket, you can then proceed to secure your patient to the Stokes basket. Additionally, if you're working in a vertical environment, you may consider placing a helmet on your patient as well. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take these cam straps and you're going to use them to attach the vac mat to the Stokes. So these are gonna run through some loops down here 
and then this will wrap around one of the posts on your Stokes basket. And you'll just loop it through like this, and then do the same thing on the other side. Once you've done that, our next step will be to secure the patient to the Stokes basket. And this can be achieved with your red Purcells that will be in your vac mat bags and two carabiners. So what you will do is you will girth hitch this around one of the posts of the Stokes basket. And you'll want to do one up high and one down low. So you run it through your patient harness here and you'll clip it into the post up top on the other side as well. We'll try to avoid running it over the rail to prevent it from getting cut on a cliff face if it were to rub on that. And once that's done, you can tighten this as necessary. It doesn't have to be super tight. And then you'll do the same thing with the other Purcell. As you can see, you'll create two Vs here with your Purcells um, that will help hold the patient in place to the Stokes basket. The sharper you can get these angles, the better. Um, that'll help hold the patient in place more. And then your final step for packaging is to use the seat belts that are attached to the Stokes basket to clip the patient in to the basket. So you slip these through like so, and then just tighten them. And the same considerations apply for these straps as well. Just make sure that you're not covering anything like your patient's knees. If so, you can cross them instead to avoid that. And then for the final two up top, you'll likely have to cross these seat belts so you're not covering your patient's neck or face with them. And this one will come across down here. All right, and now you have successfully packaged a patient into a Stokes basket with a back mat.